you probably know that the Bible is the world's best-selling book. Most people also know that the Bible contains the Old and New Testaments. But did you know that it's actually a collection of books and that it's written by 40 different authors over 2,000 years? It includes different genres too, like historical narrative, songs and letters, biographies, legal documents, parables and poetry. Written at the crossroads between East and West, the Bible influences cultures all around the world. In advertising, the law, the calendar, language, medicine, education, politics, in fact everywhere we look. In art, it's long been a rich source of inspiration for musicians, sculptors and painters. The Bible makes an appearance in some surprising places. Think of movies like Star Wars, The Shawshank Redemption, Magnolia, Pulp Fiction or Twelve Years a Slave. It may not be the Bible as we know it, but they're great Bible stories retold in new creative ways. The Bible has also inspired countless people who shaped our culture. Think of Florence Nightingale, who was the founder of modern nursing and an avid Bible reader. Think of Elizabeth Fry, the 19th century prison reformer who taught convicts in Newgate Prison to read using a Bible. Likewise, think of Robert Rakes, who opened the first Sunday schools. Within a hundred years, His schools had 1.2 million students and were the first in the English state system. And don't forget William Wilberforce, who encountered Jesus while reading the Bible and was inspired to fight tirelessly against the British slave trade until it was abolished. Wilberforce wanted the Bible to be available for all people everywhere in their own language, so he helped found Bible Society. He also co-founded the RSPCA, the first animal welfare charity in the world. In more recent times, Someone like Archbishop Desmond Tutu was inspired by the Bible to fight apartheid in South Africa. Others, like Archbishop Oscar Romero of El Salvador or Martin Luther King in the United States, were motivated by biblical ideas of equality and justice to fight for economic justice for the poor and racial equality for African Americans. It was King who famously quoted from the book of Amos in his I Have a Dream speech, saying, We'll not be satisfied till justice rolls like the waters. We will not be satisfied till righteousness rolls like a mighty stream. So what do all these people have in common? They all loved the Bible and knew that its message could have a great impact on their society. How could the Bible change your society?